Hello, everyone. My name is Prem Kuchi from the Teams Engineering Group. Hi, I'm Aaron Glick. I'm also from the Teams Engineering Group. Today, we're going to share how to tailor teams for your industry and organization. The agenda for today's session is simple. We're going to talk about what customers have told us about the set of problems they face. We will introduce you to templates, the template gallery and the different entry points, and show a series of demos and how to use templates and how to customize it for your needs. Organizations and users find it hard to map the structure of their users, projects, and workflows into teams and channels for effective collaboration. They don't have a clear understanding of which business workflows and scenarios teams can help with, know how to get started, or know what the best practices are, or even the right apps to use for collaboration. Discovering these capabilities is a big issue. Of course, once the structure is figured out, a key challenge is to deploy and operationalize this at scale within their organization. In addition to structure, they want governance, approval workflows, capturing project metadata, customizing onboarding, providing content, and much more. Key learnings from our customers is that the one size doesn't fit all. Each solution for industry, segment, and organization are different. We don't want to overwhelm users with too much choice. Customers also have a lot of investment in existing processes and content. Simplifying integrating them, like configuring tabs, including content, pre and post hooks, configuring SPO signed. They're all very important. And last but not the least, details matter. Simple words like stock versus inventory make a big difference. Localization is a huge deal. Introducing team templates. Team templates make setting up a customized team even easier and faster. This helps you bootstrap effective collaboration with a predefined set of channels, tabs, apps that are common for their roles, use cases, and industries. Team creators and members can be productive from day one with an experience that is tailored for them. It is customized. Organizations adopt and adapt for their needs. Organizations can develop and expose these templates that make it easy for the users to create teams while allowing for manageability and guardrails. Admins can also promote these custom templates to a specific set of users. Of course, we're creating a vibrant ecosystem that in addition to first party templates and line of business templates will include third party like SIs and ISVs so that they can bring their subject matter expertise and best practices to an organization. We have a series of templates already available with, uh, within the template gallery. Many of them are general use cases like managing a project, onboarding employees, et cetera. But we also have a set of templates that are relevant to specific industries. Take patient care coordination as an example in healthcare or coordinating incident response for public safety. Similar things with retail, financial services, and manufacturing. Now let's have Aaron show you like how a user can create a new team using these templates. Thanks, Prem. Today I'm going to talk about team templates and creating your own custom templates for users in your organization. We've added a new team template section within the Teams Admin Center here on the left sidebar. Here I have a list of team templates that are available on my organization. This list include templates that are created by Microsoft, as well as any custom templates that I may have previously created. When I click Add a New Template, I have three different options for creating a template. One is I can create a brand new template from scratch. Two, I can use an existing team and templatize it. Or three, I can use an existing template and build on top of it. I'm going to choose this option three, choose an existing template to build on top of. On this next page, I get to choose which template I want to use as my base. I'm here to create an incident management template, so I'm going to use the incident management template that is provided by Microsoft. On this page, I can add a title to the template, as well as a description for uh, what the template will look like in the template gallery. Since I'm creating a new template from an existing template, there's already a channel structure and apps that are installed as a part of this template. I'm going to modify this to make this relevant for users in my organization by adding an incidents channel.
since this channel is important, I'm going to choose to show this one by default. Now I can add tabs to this list. So what I'm going to do is add the list app. And to make it more custom for users in my organization, I'm going to call this the incident list. Now that I have my team structure and apps installed that I would like, I'll go ahead and click submit. Creating a new team for your business scenario is now easier than ever. You no longer have to create team from scratch with team templates. As I enter the create team flow, I now see that I have more options of to create a team. So I can choose from a different a bunch of different templates within this gallery. I'm interested in, interested in creating an incident response template. So I'm going to click on this template and see the longer description that's included here. This description includes the different channels that'll that'll be included in the the team as well as the different apps that will be installed. On this page, I can give my team a name. I also have the ability to modify channel names that don't necessarily meet the needs of my organization. I'm going to change this urgent channel to priority. After clicking create, I no longer have to go in and individually add channels and install apps. Leveraging templates, I can get my team structure created quickly with the right set of channels, apps, and tabs that will be included in this team. And just like that, I have my entire incident response team created easily from a template. Custom team templates are a great way to get started for your organization. However, what if you want to target specific templates to users or groups of users in your organization? Here we have a template promotion policy where I can click add a new policy, select the templates that I want to include as a part of this policy. After my policy is saved, I then can choose which users or which groups I want to see certain templates that are promoted to them. After assigning these users to this policy, they will see the promoted templates list within the template gallery. And just like that, targeting is easier than ever. Awesome demos, Aaron. Now let's talk policies. We have a lot of policies and they help you create the right experience and governance in your organization. However, they're not simple. Policy packages help simplify the process of creating a set of predefined policies and settings that you can assign to users that have similar roles. Take, for example, teachers, high school students, cashiers, or law enforcement officers. We've already published a set of these packages for various industries. Now, they can be modified to an extent, like healthcare worker, like clinician, or a public safety officer. You can change a few things about head chats on, off, priority notifications on, off. However, default packages are only a good starting point, but not sufficient. Every organization wants to create and apply policies that work for them, group in the roles and responsibilities for their employees. Take an example of a simple school. Even in a school, one or two packages are not sufficient. They have 10 different roles and they want to create 10 different packages. Custom packages allow you to create your own packages and apply those to your users. Now, Aaron's going to show you how to create those custom packages. Policy packaging is a great way to streamline policy assignment to users with similar roles in your organization. Previously, we've had a set of policy packages for specific sets of industries. Now, with custom packages, we can empower admins to create their own custom packages for users in their organization. I'll go through that process by clicking the Add button here in the top left corner. After clicking Add, what I'm going to do is give my custom package a name. A quick description about the package. And now I'm going to choose the different policy types that I want to include in this custom package. I'll start with a meeting policy and then choose the custom meeting policy that I've gone ahead and created ahead of time for retail bank employees. I want to add another policy. This time I'll choose a messaging policy. I also have a specific messaging policy for retail bank employees. I'll add a third policy. In here, I'll add a calling policy that's specific to retail bankers at my uh, my organization. 
And last but not the least, I'm also going to add an app setup policy to part of this package. This way, all of the users that are part of this that receive this policy package will receive the right app setup policy for their teams. I'll go ahead and click save. I now have my custom policy package at the top of the list. However, I need to assign it to users for it to take effect. So what I'll do is I'll select the package, click manage users, and assign it to one of the retail bank employees. And just like that, Alex has received four policies with a single assignment. This is also available in PowerShell if you want to assign policy packages at scale. Thanks, Aaron. And here are some other great resources. Please do check this out to learn more about our industry solutions and other ways you can customize teams for your organization. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, y'all.